Welcome back into another iOS and Firebase video. Today we're going to be covering one of the major authentication functions, and that is when a user forgets their password. We'll be going over the functionality of creating some UI and then creating some code that allows us to call a function and then send a reset password email to a specific user based on whether they exist or not. It's going to be a pretty small video and I'll just be covering some of the basics of this simple implementation. So let's just jump right into it. First things what I'm going to do is if you have been following along this series, we've sort of been building a small social network application. We've already covered the signing in, signing up, getting data and as well as storing data and then a few other things. So you can find the starter code in the description below, as well as the complete code when we finish this video in the description below as well. I'm gonna head on over to our main.storyboard and then I'm going to create a view here that allows us to access the reset password. So I'm just gonna set this up real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy one of these views, paste it in, and then just put it on top. And this is gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna be sending this a seg, let's see. Sign in seg, so we'll just call this forgot pass seg. I'm gonna copy that for later. And I'm not really gonna mess around with the UI that much. I am going to change the back button though. So we can clean that up, make it all similar. And then we're gonna change the title to forgot password. And I'm going to shrink that just a little bit to 40. And then all we need is one, one field, and that'll be our email field. And then send. We'll just make it send. All right, perfect. So we got this set up. I am going to remove the view controller connected to this, as well as remove any outlets and actions we have connected previously. And then over here in our sign-in view, I am going to add a button that allows us to access this. So I am just going to copy that, paste it in. Oh, I'm just gonna copy and paste. And then I'm just gonna change up some of the UI here. So forgot password, simple as that. And then I'm going to make this background color actually, um, we'll say default. And then the title, just be that blue that we have. There we go. And then I'm going to shrink the title just a little bit, change the height up, just some minor things here. So the UI looks decent to say the least. All right. So we have our forgot password. Now we need to implement this into our sign in view controller. So this is just some basic iOS development here. Nothing too complicated, but I'm just going to go in here, make sure this is not connected to anything. Oh, it is sign in there we go and then i'm going to create another ib action but i'll just do it more quickly here forgot pass button tapped bada beam bada boom all right so we are good so we are all good there and now i'm just going to perform that seg that we had created earlier that seg was forgot pass seg and then a sender as nil. Beautiful. So now we have set everything up. We have our action that'll send us over to our forgot password view controller, but now we have one minor thing. We need to create a file for this. So let's quickly do that. Forgot pass view controller, and this will be UI view controller. Perfect. And then I'll just simply, um, let's see. I'm just gonna copy this for speed or quickness right now. So we do need an email field. We don't need a sign in button. Uh, and then we'll do that and we'll do that. All right, so here I'm just gonna import Firebase. So now we're getting into the actual logistics side of sending a reset password email to our specific user. Nothing too complicated here, but first let's connect this file. So forgot password pass view controller and then let's connect that email address field and then that button touch up inside 
Perfect. All right. So we're good to go here. Now, if we build and run this right now, I'm just going to do this real quick. You'll see that if we click that forgot password button, our view controller will seg into that new view controller we created. There it is. And just like that, forgot password. And we are able to type in an email. We could make this field specific, but we're just playing around. We're just making this simple and showing you guys how iOS and Firebase could be implemented. So now there's no functionality here since we haven't added anything to it yet. This is where the fun part comes. So normally you would probably check if there is text in a field. We could do that, but we'll just pretend that this text field has automatically been created with a default email address or there's been text inputted. We won't check that to save time with this video. So back into the Firebase here, if you've been following along, you've already been able to set up your authentication, your database, everything. You've probably already run your app. You've probably created a user. You've tested it out. Let me show you guys something before we get into it. So here we, in our authentication side on our left bar, we have our users and then we have a sign in method, which we've already created an email password, but then we have our templates. So if you do have an application that you're building and you want, and you want to allow users to receive reset password emails, you are able to change up some of the information in the email that goes. So if we hit that template and then head on down to our password reset, we can find where this email will be coming from. You're even able to set this up as your own domain. So it could be no reply at a website. So in my applications, I have that going on as well. We might jump into that later in future videos, but not right now. And then you can also change up the subject as well as the message, but they don't allow you to change up any of the URLs or anything else. You can provide a name here as well. And then a reply to email address, which I believe is brand new. So you can play around with that and you can also change up your app name. So instead of a project with an ID number, you can actually create, add a name to it, such as social network I have here. And so you can play around with these templates and these templates essentially when they are called through the application, this is how they'll show up to the user as well as verification. We might jump into this in a future video as well. And then if a user changes their email address, which will definitely jump into this in a few videos of iOS and Firebase. So heading on back over to the code part, we're going to jump right into this. It's just a simple few lines of code that we're going to write. So first we're going to call our auth object, auth auth, And then from here, it's just a simple function calling. We're just going to auth dot send password reset with email. So here we have two parameters. We have our email and our completion. Our email, imagine we our field has already been set and inputted. It's not blank, so we won't get any errors here. Email.text, and we will force unwrap this for simplicity reasons of this video right now. And then we have a completion. So if there is an error or if there is not. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna check if there is an error. So if we get an error, we want to return here, but we also want to display that error to our user. So we are just going to call this from our service dot create alert. So We'll let alert equal our create alert controller. Our title will be error, and then our message will be that error.localized description. From here, we're just going to present that alert to our user. So this alert could include anything from a user not existing to a wrong email address to network errors, empty text field, and so on and so forth. Now, if our email is successful and it is sent through to a correct user and specific user, we want to present an alert and let the user know, hey, this happened. So we'll do the same thing right here. So let alert equals service dot create alert controller. Hooray. A password reset email has been sent. Perfect. And then we'll just present that view controller as well. There we go. So now if we actually go in and build and run this application, we'll be able to click on this button and see what happens. So let's do that right now. So just like that, in a couple lines of code, we were able to create a reset password email functionality that allows us to send a reset password email to a user, which then gives them the ability to reset that password through Firebase. And once they reset it, they are able to sign in through the application. So let's try it out here. So what we'll do is we're going to, we're going to use our real user right now, user at gmail.com. And we're going to send that. Hooray. So it worked. So everything is good to go. There is a user. Now let's try it with a user that we do not have in the database. So let's say user three, there is no user three in our users database. Let's try it out. 
And so just like that, we don't have to check anything and Firebase has already set all the functionality up for us. All we have to do is simply call a couple functions and make sure that certain things are structured correctly. From here going forward, we're probably going to start covering more things in Firebase. Like I mentioned earlier, we might get into a couple new sign-in methods. And then from there, we might even learn customizing the user's data in the application, such as updating email address or sending an email address verification. I will also be jumping into the storage side of things and even learn a little bit about functions so that you could easily send yourself an email whenever a user signs up so you don't have to constantly check that iTunes Connect application or the iTunes Connect on the web browser. These are just a few features that I'm super excited to get started in and I hope you guys keep joining me in this little iOS and Firebase series. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.